We've been talking with Gabrielle Stahlschmidt. Gabrielle's Studio of Music is what we've discussed so far. Also, Own Your Voice Academy and these wonderful classes. You have an acting class that's mm -hmm. coming up. When is that going to be held? It is August 13th in this very building in the University Tower, 17th floor, boardroom. All the great people are in this building. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's an on-camera workshop. So tell us more about this. This is a two-hour class. It is a two-hour class, and it's really for um, actors in the area that want to explore commercial opportunities, so print work, voiceover work, Work, um, talent and other categories. Mm -hmm. um, so Victor Rivas is actually a friend of mine who I've known now in many capacities. He's an incredible musician in St. Louis and he is also signed with Talent Plus. Awesome. So he has led on-camera classes before and has agreed to come and teach this incredible class for us. I love it and this is for all ages? It is. So what do you, so people, okay, so there we go. It's $50 for the two-hour mm -hmm. workshop, and there's the information if you want to shoot an email. It's info at gabriellestudioofmusic.com, and then the website, gabriellestudioofmusic.com. So in those two hours, what should they expect to experience and walk away with? Sure, we're going to be working on sides and monologues, slating the audition process, pay scales, mm -hmm. um, and really just what talent agencies look for, how to find a talent agency, and how to uh, conduct yourself on a shoot, business etiquette, and the like. Gabrielle, I wish that existed, and maybe it did, and we just didn't know about it. I love to tell the story when I was a little girl, and I would watch commercials, movies, etc. And I would go, Mom, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. She still loves to tell this story. And she's like, I am so sorry I didn't know. And I said, look, I believe, I'm sure you do as well, that you are exactly where you're supposed to be in life. So I wasn't supposed to do that. But at the time, you know, as a parent, she felt so bad that she couldn't, she didn't know. Yeah. So that's why I love that you're holding this. She didn't know how to get me involved. So I would watch this. And she, I said, how do I get into commercials, Mom? Yeah. And she said... Honey, I don't know, maybe, and for those of you that are younger, you might not know what a Yellow book, a yellow Pages is. <laughs> She's like, get out the Yellow Pages. Mm -hmm. So I got it out, and I'm looking through, and I said, what do I look under? I mean, I'm a little girl. I don't even know what to look under. Mm -hmm. And she said something about, like, talent or agents. Yes. And so this is funny, Gabrielle. I find one, and I, I'm calling and calling and calling, and I want to be in commercials. This little kid mm -hmm. calling. I mean, that's when you know you're driven. Mm -hmm. And then one of them said, what is your name again? And I told her, um, this is Monica. Monica <laughs> Adams. And she said, oh, yeah, you did a Pizza Hut commercial, right? And I said, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and she goes, oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you were really good. And she's like, yeah. She's like, well, we don't have anything right now. And I'm like, dang it, I thought I had my in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I told my mom, and she goes, oh, I don't condone lying. But, yeah, maybe if, if you have to fib a little bit. <laughs> My, it's one of my favorite stories from back then. I love but it. I didn't know, and so I'm glad that you have something like this, because here, parents might be watching going, oh, I didn't know either, Mrs. Adams. I didn't know how to get my kid in, but here's an opportunity for you. So it's not like, uh, you know, there's so many people now, we're in an industry, we're, we're not, we're in a world where people go on social media mm -hmm. and they just think, well, I'm just going to be found. And for some it is. Yeah. It is so very different than when you were growing up, yeah. I was growing up, of the path you had to walk, the path you had to go through, the blood, mm -hmm. sweat, and tears you had to do. I mean, it is different, great, or some people think it's not fair. However, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter which side of the aisle you fall on. It's just opportunities. And then once you get that, hopefully you have the drive to actually work. Right. We're, right. we're in a world where people don't want to work anymore. Yes. You're not, you have been raised as I was raised that you don't understand that. Right. Right. I, I don't get it and I don't know. That's a whole show that's going to go beyond an hour mm -hmm. of how in the heck we get people to learn to want to work again. Right. In this class, you're going to teach them, you, you need to learn to work. Yes. And, and here's the tools that we're going to give you in order to succeed. Correct. Right. And that's really why I started the academy is to create more than just well-rounded musicians. So I always tell my students when they walk in the door, you can take learning music as far as you want to here. It could be meeting with me for a lesson one-on-one -on -one, and that's all we ever do and that's fine mm -hmm. um, learning music as a hobby is how I started yeah. um, and then for those who want to take things a step further um, we do songwriting classes we do intensives we do vocal workshops um, and then these on-camera classes are just new categories that we're branching out into as well so I'm very excited so yes absolutely okay, and the date again August 13th, August 13th. and it's in this building mm -hmm. okay there we go by the way there is Gabrielle with her sister and so how actually that's I'm glad that picture popped mm -hmm. up how often do the two of you collaborate um, every single concert she plays in the band. Oh, she does? Yes. Why do I not know these things? Mm -hmm. I will send you an invite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. I've been watching your videos and, and pictures. So you can follow Gabrielle on social. What would be the best for them to see what you're up to? Instagram and YouTube. Instagram and YouTube? Yes. And again, so we had it up there earlier. I know it might
might be hard for you to st- spell her name. It's Gabrielle Stolschmidt. Um, but what is, what is your handle on? All in- social media is Gabrielle Studio of Music. Gabrielle Studio of Music. Okay. So Gabrielle Studio of Music. So we're talking about Own Your Voice Academy, but you also have a clothing line that's mm-hmm. affiliated with this. I bought a couple of things from you. I have this sweatshirt that I absolutely love, but it's it's not so much you and I both love fashion, but going beyond the fashion, it's the reason for it. So talk yes. about the clothing line. So it started as an empowerment piece for my students who are really struggling with confidence. The very first line was, she speaks powerful things, Mm -hmm. and it's the mission about what I believe about music, Mm -hmm. and speaking words over your life as well, so I wanted to create empowering words for them to wear, so that when they saw themselves in the mirror, they were reminded of how powerful their voices are, Mm -hmm. and then that went into a step further of how can I pour back into our local community, Um, and that was donating 100% of our proceeds to local charities, especially those um, fighting for human trafficking survivors. So that has been the Covering House in the past, which is a St. Louis-based organization that is very near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then more recently, the Operation Underground Railroad. Yeah. Uh, Talk more about the organization that's close to you. I've heard Mm -hmm. you and your mom and your sister talk about the. It's the Covering House? It is the Covering House, which you can find them at thecoveringhouse.org. They do incredible work. They actually house a certain number of survivors that they rescue from stings. Mm -hmm. And they rehabilitate them. They provide them counseling. They provide them education and help them find jobs. Um, So they're really about rebuilding the whole person. This is the thing that's on the top of mind of a lot of people right now with the movie Sound of Freedom Mm -hmm. out. And I have not seen it yet. Mm -hmm. My mom has now seen it probably two or three times. There's an organization that you can give to Mm -hmm. that helps for those that cannot get to the movie. So she's been paying for like 10 people at a time, 20 people at a time, whatever, to be able to go. Um, My videographer just said he saw it over the weekend Mm -hmm. and he said it is so emotional. You've seen it? I have not yet. I have not either. You and I need to go together. Yes. Uh, But it's, there's a lot of people that are, trying to say that it's not real, Mm -hmm. this isn't really happening. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about that? I think uh, that's very unfortunate because in a time where we could be rescuing Mm -hmm. people around us, Mm -hmm. it's more self-centered than that. Um, Rather than get uncomfortable, we just want to shove everything under the rug. And I think it is one of the largest operations that plagues America. Um, And I, just as much as I fight for my students, I'm going to fight for children around the world as hard as I can. Absolutely. Yes. So if you haven't even heard of it, I want you to, to Google and look into Sound of Freedom. It was number one at the box office, I know, at least for two weeks mm-hmm. in a row. I haven't followed here in the last week, but I mean, that speaks volumes in and of itself. Yes. The actor, um, I never know how to pronounce it, is it Jim Caviezel? Yes. Oh, sorry, I'm going to make sure mm-hmm. I'm saying his name right. So he is in that, and I still remember him from the Passion movie, which was just mm-hmm. incredible. But this movie, a lot of people are talking about, which is a good thing. We want you to be talking. We want there to be intrigue. We want there then to be a movement and action to help. So Gabrielle is doing what she's doing with her clothing line. So right now, mm-hmm. you're you're working with different organizations. Mm-hmm. Um, will you stay with that, or do you go in? And work with other charities? I work with other charities as well. I really try to find small um, local charities. Mm-hmm. That way we can really pour the funds where they're needed. Yeah. Um, but Operation Underground Rescue, because it was at the forefront with the Sound of Freedom movie, mm-hmm. I knew that that's where I wanted to donate next. Mm-hmm. Um, and they do go a step further too and actually place children in adoptions. Oh, and that's wonderful. something that I love about their organization. So if someone is interested in getting the clothing line, do they just go to your website for that? They do, yes. So what do you have right now that they can buy? I have several t-shirts that we've created for this mission um, specifically, and then I have all of the original t-shirts as well, so anything that's purchased from the clothing line will be donated. Do you have a say in the design aspect of it? I do. I design everything myself. You did? Mm -hmm. I love the sweatshirt, and again, I know it's really hot right now, but the sweatshirt (laughs) is so cool. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it, and I've sent people to her website. Um, From a fashion standpoint, it's, you want to describe it to them? It's like this... uh, It's a sound wave of my voice that says, you speak powerful things with... Speaks powerful things. Yeah, running it's, through the middle. Yeah, it's it, it's empowering because again, it that grabs you in its of, in in and of itself. That grabs you and people are like, oh, she she speaks powerful things. So who is she? You, mm-hmm. <laughs> you believe in yourself, mm-hmm. right? That's one of the things that you're trying to get the mission of finding people mm-hmm. to say, I have a voice. Right. In my life coaching, I say that a lot. I want you to find your voice. What does that mean? It means to speak your truth. You see that, or you read that in in self help books. What does that mean? That means open up the things that have been suppressed for so long. It's bring them to the surface, right? right? Because otherwise you're forever, this is what I'm sure you're teaching. And there's a, obviously you're finding their voice from a vocal class standpoint, right. but you're teaching so much more. You yes. know that, right? Yes. 
You yes, feel that? that's the foundation of why I started everything. Um, because the voice is the most intimate instrument that has ever existed. Mm -hmm. And it really speaks to how you talk about yourself, how you talk to yourself. And I find that that's really the start of tension control whenever we're talking about vocal technique. It's how are you talking to yourself first? Oh, absolutely. And how is that manifesting with physical tension? So mm -hmm. it's really about finding the confidence in your internal self first and then finding that confidence through music. You know, what I'm interested in, let me reintroduce Gabrielle Stolzman. We're talking about Gabrielle Studio of Music. We're talking about Own Your Voice Academy. And then we're going to go in some little life coaching here because that's what happens in so many different fields. What do you receive from your students as they're going through? Have you had emotions come out? I'm sure. Um, music and counseling are sisters, <laughs> if not twins. Mm -hmm. And that's why I absolutely love what I do because it's two of the fields that I heavily considered merged into one. Mm -hmm. So it's really, like I said, about whenever you dig deep into finding who people really are, it is an emotional process because we come with the baggage of the things that we've experienced. And through music, we get to talk about that in a delicate way and then turn that into something powerful. Absolutely. So I would say almost every experience is emotional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, again, they're realizing potential. That's the big, what are your possibilities? Explore those. And as you're going through these classes, you might... You might sign up for the class, whether it's the acting class we're talking about, whether it's going through and, and being blessed because she's on a, a wait list and you, you can obviously tell her passion, being blessed to be one of her students, but to go through and I'm wondering how many work on their voice for singing mm -hmm. and then project, speak out, become a completely different person because they've been hiding for so long, maybe even go into the field that we're in because right. you're you're working so much with their voice. And I will say, people that are thinking of getting into broadcasting or doing podcasting, doing YouTube shows, who knows where the industry will take us, but these type of things are only going to help you. Yes. And then maybe you're going to find a whole other passion that you didn't know you had in singing. Right. Let's do our recap. So once again, if they want to explore the opportunities mm -hmm. to be one of your students for the studio. Again, we mentioned that you're on a wait list, but you're going to look at those and try to figure out how, how can I help. Right. How can they get involved in your studio? Um, at my website, info at gabriellestudioofmusic.com is also where you can reach me by email, and I will get that right away. Okay, and then the acting class. Yes, and that is also on my website as well under the academy, and it's just under on-camera class. And it's going to be August 13th. Mm -hmm. Two what to is four o'clock. Two to four. Two mm -hmm. to four. Fifty dollars. Yes. And again, there it is. On camera workshop, two hour class, Sunday, August 13th, right here mm -hmm. in the University Club Tower building. And it's fifty dollars for that two hour workshop. Music. You can uh, reach her info at gabriellestudioofmusic.com. Go to that class. If you miss out on it, again, it's all on you because we're giving you the opportunity. Don't pass that up. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. I cannot wait to see where this all turns into, and, and, and all these students are being taught by Gabrielle. I know that you have big futures ahead of you because she's an incredible teacher.